This is the day after you've been banned, lifetime ban, and they say to these UN rules, anybody will be banned on the internet, period, if you've been shown to be hateful, for making fun of the ob abominable uh, Ghostbusters movie. So this this <laughs> is getting crazier and crazier, and I and I wonder, I'm like, Milo's not giving statements to the press. They're all, it's like one of the top stories in the world right now. I mean, this is crazy. And he comes in and goes, oh, yeah, I'm going to give you the unfettered statement because it's live and I won't be censored. So, Milo, you've got the floor. Walk through what's happened. A lot of folks are watching. A lot of people are listening. We'll recap it to a little bit later. But thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I'm glad you we got to do this at last. You it's bet. Well, this fun. is insane. This is wild. I didn't realize. I mean, I knew this was epic, but I didn't realize it was like supernova it's epic. Turn me into the, the little star of the RNC. You know, I don't know how stupid Twitter is, but they, they, I don't think they anticipated what was going to happen. You know? Well, let's talk about, uh, for, for new viewers or folks that have happily followed it, what what's, what's really happened? Your, your statement, go ahead. Sure. Well, I published a review of the new Ghostbusters movie, which is a really bad film. It's a very bad film. It seems to me to be the first film, I mean, maybe the first film I've ever seen, I, the first anyone I can think of, which has been conceived entirely out of spite. This is a movie that just hates men. Uh, it is a movie that, can, you know, that drops in a million little dull, thin, mean, nasty, third-wave, Twitter-style feminist jabs. They throw Bill Murray out of the window. He's a sort of... Nice metaphor for what they've done to the franchise generally. And at the end, they shoot the, the big marshmallow uh, guy in the nuts, you know, to kill. It's just it's these, all these tiny, nasty little, little jabs. Sounds throughout. like toddlers made a movie. Exactly, exactly. It's the first movie I can think of that was made entirely out of childish spite. Now, the thing about the first Ghostbusters movie, and maybe people didn't think of this at the time, but it is, a, it is like a libertarian uh, um, showcase. You know, the, the bad guys in the first movie aren't the ghosts. The bad guys in the first movie are the government. The ghosts in the first movie are adorable. You know, they're, they're nice, fun characters. Slimer looks like a good guy to party with. Of course, who doesn't want to party with the ghosts from Ghostbusters? No, but the, the, the villains in the first movie were the government. It was the bungling bureaucrats getting in the way of the private... EPA. Exactly, well, yeah, getting in the way of private Yes, it's enterprise. true, this man has no dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, you know, this... The, uh, anyway, the new movie is, is, is entirely from this sort of mean... F you know, I know you do a lot of feminism. Paul Joseph Watson does a lot of feminism. I've it's seen sort of, it, though. A lot of movies now, you go see them. Uh, the, 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 the new House Party movie was unwanted watchable all about how men are demons we did all this stuff and i was just like i wasn't even offended it was so horrible yeah. i was like assaulted if you're gonna assault me at least make it entertaining do you know what i have a golden rule in life which is be twice as funny as you are offensive and this failed my golden rule i wouldn't have minded if i'd been laughing along but it was it was almost worse than a, a genuinely kind of terrible movie it was just sort of uh, you know you kind of like chuckled a few times but otherwise it was just dreadful anyway i published a review on breitbart um a 2000 word review it's very long very funny breitbart.com give uh, folks the uh, well, if you want to see, yeah, if you want to see stuff uh, by and about me now, uh, no, no longer on Twitter, but you can go to breitbart.com slash Milo, and they aggregate everything about me in one place. For so now, though, it. for now, I'm not going to get banned from Breitbart anytime soon. I don't yeah. think, but <laughs> no, they're going after the internet. What I mean? Yeah. No, of course. Um, so you know, you can you can go there anyway. I, I published this 2,000 word review, and Leslie Jones, who is the Black Ghostbuster, didn't like it very much. She wasn't very keen on it. She took to Twitter to say she I was triggered. She was triggered. <laughs> yes, she was triggered. Uh, she took to Twitter to say, you know, you're terrible, you should be banned, all the rest of it. So I, I cracked a few jokes, as I am wont to do sometimes. Um, you know, she, she blocked me, so I took a screenshot of that, and I said, ugh, rejected by another black dude, um, because she looks remarkably like one of my ex-boyfriends. Um, you know, and, and I said, uh, <laughs> a few little jokes like that, you know, I mean, just little things like I do all the time. I mean, look, if you don't like that kind of humor, fine. But, um, you know, uh, remarkably, I think Twitter's finally pulled the trigger um, on me. They've had a Milo problem for a while. They've been Lifetime ban. With a lifetime ban on Twitter because I made a few jokes about, about you know, this is the state. But you America. use your fame, your your personality to drive tens of millions of followers there, and then they just take it from you. We are the people that make Twitter and Facebook big. I just don't get this. Well, we're the most interesting thing on there. I mean, the left is so boring now. All they do is sort of hector and language police, and, and you know, they, they look at the world through one prism alone, which is the prism of bigotry. Is this person racist, sexist, homophobic, or transphobic? If not, we're not interested in the story, and if yes, go nuts. You know, that's really all most of the American media does now. They have have given up the pursuit of truth and exposing wrongdoing and instead they're in the business of virtue signaling to each other well you're taking this pretty good but i mean for me it's a bellwether with the coup at fox all the stuff well, you're going gonna, you're going you're next they're coming for you next oh i believe me they're already <laughs> after the me you i know that. and coulter they're gonna they're gonna get all of us you, for me very honestly i'm not as upset as people think i should be about this because i you know it's it's turned me into a little micro star on this you know i've become a free speech martyr thing is you know i've seen i saw this coming so i've started to plan i don't have anything like the audience you do but i'm starting to build one on youtube and various other places oh you've so, got a huge audience but yeah. probably but, but but expanding on that then but but let's talk about 
uh, what they're claiming you did because Paul Watson shot a video about it. I saw well, you break it down. It's interesting that no one will publish it. You know, all these all these uh, left wing media outlets. You know, who I've said no to interviews to because I wanted to sit down with somebody who was kind of on message. I can actually talk. You know, all these media outlets. Said, oh, Milo Yiannopoulos incited this hate brigade and these terrible things. Not one of them quotes anything I said. I was reading the New York Times. It not, sounded like you like committed murders. Or no, something. not one of them. All you was make fun. I said, anything I said, and of course, you know, I'm like. So what, what, what Twitter's line on this seems to be that I incited harassment of an individual by publishing a movie review? Are you insane? Should I start censoring my movie reviews in case they contain any women or black characters that might get bad words on the internet? Uh, it, this is nuts. Yeah, uh, so you cover it. A few trolls, might even be them, say something racist. Now it's your fault. Is it, so it's, it, like, it's, like, it's like the Nazis. If somebody fought them in Poland, down the street, they'd kill the whole street. No, I mean, seriously. So, so like, you know, like if your neighbor does something wrong, we're going to come after you. Exactly. This guilt by association. The classic it's tactic. very Fascist. Classic tactic of the left, classic authoritarian yeah. tactics. You know, guilt by association. It's the Zelensky stuff, which you know very well. You're um, right. The yeah. left and the right have done it, but I mean, this is classic totalitarianism. They know it, and of course. Someone, you wrote an article, so people in the comments made racist comments. You're banned. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the thing is, you know, they don't go after, you know, in fact, Twitter employees have been egging on the war between, like, for instance, Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian, you know, these, these sort of celebrity wars. They love yeah, to, that's okay. They love to egg You can have on. Twitter accounts say kill Donald Trump. Of course, of course. And, you know, female but you can't make fun of a bad movie. Female con um, conservative women get it even worse than we do. I mean, if you've ever talked to Ann Coulter about this. Do you know what Leanne McAdoo goes through on Twitter? No, no I, I don't even want to know. I I mean, my to, it is horrible. I dread to think. And it's all the left doing it. I have never, you know, my day job is technology editor at Breitbart, you know, so it's my job to keep an eye on this kind of stuff. I don't think I can ever remember an example of a progressive being banned from Twitter, no matter whether it was a rape threat, a death threat, nothing. They have, a, they have Facebook ones too, where like I don't half think million I've ever followers seen an example. saying kill Trump. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen an example of one of these people be banned. It's, it's so astonishing. You know, do they Why do you think they're so scared of you? Because they really do hate oh, you. Oh, because they can't beat me. Because I'm, you know, I'm, I fall into this weird sort of, well, for the left anyway, a weird category, this gay conservative who's like sassy and funny and interesting. And no, they, can't, they can't do what they normally do with like the straight white men, call them bigots and misogynists and what all the rest of it. They can't label me like they, like they normally do. They can't call me names. None of the traditional leftist tactics work on me because they're obviously just, in, you know, it's obviously not true. You can't call me a homophobe and get away with it. It's so stupid you know so um they can't beat me in debate when they come to my university talks all they can do is shout me down try to censor me try to have me banned so this is the last option they have available to them they can't win in the court of public opinion they can't win with ideas so they just show you down instead well obviously they would spin what you said they won't show your actual statements so i'm gonna skip this network break i want you to take over milo because <laughs> i want you to host a show right now i will do so censored, and, and, and i want you to tell folks sure. that are watching what you really stand for, what you really said about Ghostbusters. Perfect. And, and because you got the floor, go ahead. Wonderful. Ghostbusters is a really bad movie, but worse than the movie is what feminism has done to its stars, to the women who, um, who act in this movie. It's turned the superstars of Hollywood blockbusters into victims. Nothing offends me, really. I mean, I, I don't have that bit of my brain where I get offended or afraid or all the rest of it. I mean, maybe I'm broken, but um, yeah, I, I don't get offended by many things. But I was sort of offended on behalf of women, um, not just because of the stereotypical and dumb portrayals of women in this movie. You know, you've got the you've got the tomboy, you've got the sort of 80s sassy black woman played by Leslie Jones, which all my black friends cringed at in, in, enormously. But what happened to these women is they turned themselves into professional victims, into great grievance mongers and these are strong talented successful women who are sitting at home in wherever they live in you know Beverly Hills or whatever on their iPhones worrying about what people are saying on the, on the internet these women are victims but not poor of, babies I know but these women are victims just not of what they think they're not victims of the patriarchy they're not victims of some white supremacist conspiracy these people are victims of feminism these women are victims of people who have told them that everything that is wrong in their life is down to a man somewhere or black people that everything is wrong in your life is you know is down to is down to some sort of hege hegemonic capitalist hetero patriarchal system it simply isn't true and it's so shocking to me and so depressing to see women who do now have access access to, you know, education, to all the institutions of, of, of civil society, to government, everything else, constantly told that they are victims, that they are oppressed, that everything that's, that bad happens to them in, li in their life is somebody else's fault. And Leslie Jones, I don't know whether she was deployed on, uh, by the studio on purpose to kind of drum up some sympathy because the oh, movie was bombing. Oh, obviously, this is all staged. I mean, it seems that so, way. So, like, it, make money off killing the First Amendment. Well, uh, I say that, boycott their damn it film. It seems that way to me. And, of course, you've got, to, you've got to bear in mind Sony and Amy Pascal at Sony. She was caught saying some slightly off-color things about Barack Obama in those emails that were leaked from Sony. Yeah. You remember? Oh, like, let's take him to go see Django or whatever it was you know and if she was like mm. so this is amy pascal trying to get her social justice credentials back this is a you know there's there's a lot of things going on here and i just from my point of view i talk a lot about feminism in my, in my college talks i'm so 
shocked and saddened by what the, the left and what feminism and what political correctness has done to women. Women have been reporting themselves as getting progressively less happy every decade since the Second World War. It cannot be unrelated That's to... That's right. It's a bunch... Let's just say it. And I'm not being mean about this, but it's a bunch of weird, twisted, ugly women... It is. ...that are jealous... And mainly of, lesbians, by the way. Uh, uh, exactly. It is. No, it is. And they want the women. I get it. I want women, too. <laughs> they want to keep well, them of, on this reservation. No, but it's like, of course, of course these feminists hate men. They're all lesbians. If you look... I say this in yeah, my talks, and people get offended it's by competition. this. competition. No, exactly. You look at, you look at the, um, the, the uh, academic roster. You know, you look at the faculty list in a gender studies yeah, department. Yeah, they want to bring girls in, dyke, brainwash dyke, them. Divorcee, dyke, dyke, dyke. And we're letting these women lecture, like, other women on how to how to negotiate with men it's like putting hitler in charge of a museum of jewish antiquity why are these these angry overweight horrendous like chip on shoulder conspiracy theory you know indulging lesbianic monsters telling women how to be women that's insane